Virginia enters the picture in silk sura, the dress unlined, and here we are on straight grain. And here our big consideration is the print. If one is to do print, please, can we respect those beautiful flowers? This silk sura happened to have been made by Taroni in Italy, and it's a very lightweight piece of fabric, and I think the coloring of it and the way Taroni thought of these rather vivid reds and oranges and greens, and then to bring it down with those topes is what I think adds, adds a special story. But there is a thought when you do a print like this. I feel it must be respected. For instance, if it looks as though this flower arrangement just fell from the sky, I want you to know how long it took me to place that. Here on the sleeve, where we cut through this flower, we certainly did bad things. There is a seam here. To make that flower back into a real motif, we took another one of these yellow-orange flowers, cut out this little piece of the motif, faced it in black silk chiffon, put it into the seam, and then by hand caught it here onto the fabric. So I would like to think that you never realized that we had put all of this little motif through long hours of work back in. In the back here, where we do have a dart, because I feel a dart is very necessary for this part of the anatomy, and I much prefer the dart from the neckline rather from, than from the shoulder seam. That, to me, right there, where we all, man or woman, have these wings, so to speak, it works much better from the neckline, that dart. Now here, we tried to work it so we had this big motif, so that that skinny little dart into the one flower really did not show up. Here, as you see on this side, I tried to work the dart, so never did it go into that particular motif. I worked very, very hard on this neckline to place those flowers so that they would never be cut. And believe me, that takes a great deal of time. I had a rather usual, unusual experience with one of the young girls who had just come into the workroom, and I always take them into the showroom to let them see the fitting, and she looked at it and said, oh my, isn't that strange how all of those little flowers just sort of aren't cut into? And I said, strange? It took me a day and a half to cut it that way. This dress again, unlined. But again, that story of how I try to respect the anatomy, because here in the bust area, we have a great deal of ease. In other words, on this part, we have held in the fabric, and on the yoke part or the bib part, we have not had to hold in. In other words, I've given much more fabric where the bust is, and then, of course, nothing where the bib is. There is only an underlining in this garment at the bib, which you could, again, revere back if you would like, and at these three little pieces of the neckline. There I am underlined in silk shantung, and then, of course, I'm faced in the sura. I'd like to show you what will happen if you have patience as far as, oh, Virginia, I'm sorry, we're pulling you as far as doing these skinny little biases is, are concerned. You see how much you can get if you will cut a true bias, which we will go into, of three quarters of an inch wide and hand based and stretch like mad when you're stitching at the machine. Indeed, it can be done. On Virginia, you saw this doubled. Here, I'm holding the full length of it. Silk Sura is the medium. Won't we please be very, very careful when we're working with prints?